Are you suspecting that you might have carpal tunnel syndrome? Or did someone tell you that you had carpal tunnel syndrome? So today we're going to talk about um, carpal tunnel syndrome and that really plagues a lot of people nowadays. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about what it is exactly, you know, how it comes about. But we're also going to talk about some common misconceptions as well about it. So stay tuned, we're going to get into it. So don't forget to subscribe to your channel hit the thumbs up button and the bell notification to be notified every time we upload a new video. So let's get on with the show. Hi, I'm Dr. Josh. Hi, I'm Dr. Christina. And we are chiropractors in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to our channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about carpal tunnel. Yeah. First off, what is a carpal tunnel? So a carpal tunnel is basically described by the little space that's right on the base of your wrist, right mm -hmm. about here. So it kind of, separates your wrist from your hand. Mm -hmm. What can happen, so to develop carpal tunnel, is usually people who sit and do a lot of work at a computer, actually. So you're typing a lot or you're using your arms and hands a lot in your job. And so you can start to get inflammation in this area because it's basically a result of a repetitive strain injury. And so once you start to get inflammation in this area, because the area is so small and it's in between um, some wrist bones and also it's got some uh, tissue like ligaments and fascia over top. The area is very small. So when it starts to expand, the nerve going through there that supplies your hand will start to have a problem because it's going to be squished off basically. So the number one misconception is whenever anybody has hand pain mm -hmm. or finger pain, mm -hmm that they must have carpal yeah. tunnel. <laughs> it's like the automatic uh, The induction. automatic thing. You get tingling <clears throat> in your fingers, you have carpal tunnel syndrome. Mm -hmm. And so that's the normal diagnosis that people get. The challenge is often that's not where the nerve is getting pressure. The nerves that supply your hands and your arm, they all come from your neck, mm -hmm. from the base of your neck. And so if you have any issue in the neck, so if you have any degeneration, any arthritis, that will affect the nerves in your hands. That's right. And actually, you may not even feel pain here. A first sign sometimes of neck issue is tingling in the hand. Mm -hmm. Because when you have pressure on the nerve, it's the most distal part of the nerve or the end, end part of the nerve mm -hmm. that tends to feel the symptoms first. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting. So it can be from the neck as yeah, well. Absolutely. Yeah. So one test that you can actually do at home to figure out whether or not you actually have carpal tunnel or you don't is to actually do some wrist exercises. Mm -hmm. So what I always recommend is you do stretches for your wrist. Mm -hmm. You know, you bring it forward, you stretch it back. Um, you do wrist mobility and strengthening mm -hmm. circular. exercise, circular yeah. motions, things like that. And if, and even resting the wrist itself. Mm -hmm. And if you find that when you take care of the wrist, in particular, that takes care of your numbers and it's a good chance that you probably did have carpal tunnel. Mm -hmm. If you find that those exercises don't make any of a difference and it's still prolonged, then there's a really good chance that that nerve pinch is actually either in the neck or anywhere downstream mm -hmm. into the arm and the forearm. And you really need to get a good checkup to find out where exactly that nerve pressure is. That's it. So at that point then, you definitely want to go in and see a chiropractor so mm -hmm. that you can get assessed and really pinpoint where that's coming from. Mm -hmm. So in our office, we've seen many patients who have had carpal sun, uh, tunnel syndrome, who've been diagnosed with it, mm -hmm. who've had the surgery, or who are projected to have the surgery. So we have <laughs> yeah. lots of stories of patients who've had this experience. Mm -hmm. So um, we've had many patients who've come in and they thought they had carpal tunnel syndrome. We started taking care of the spine, restoring the curve. And guess what happens to the carpal tunnel? It goes away. It goes away, which is awesome. <laughs> I've also, we've also had cases where patients came in post-surgery yeah. and this is very, very common is statistically there is, um, there's a certain percentage of patients who've had a surgery that still have the symptoms mm -hmm. and we've seen that before. And so the patients come in, they had the surgery, we take care of their spine and guess what happens? The carpal tunnel goes away. So they didn't do it. Now we also, I've had also the third case or type of cases, or we've had these type of cases in our office mm -hmm. where patients mm -hmm. who you know, they have carpal tunnel syndrome, we take care of the spine, that still doesn't resolve the problem. And so therefore, <laughs> at that point, usually for those patients, I usually recommend that they go talk to an orthopedic surgeon to yeah. talk about that procedure. Uh, because often if we rule out the nerve pressure upstream, upstream then, yeah. then they are a good candidate. And usually those cases have very good success with the procedure that they get done. 
Now we do want to say one more thing is that if you are then seriously considering surgery, um, definitely get checked by a chiropractor first and suss out that means of treatment mm -hmm. first because you might not at, at all need it, mm -hmm. right? And then you'll have a more direct um, a decision to make because yeah. if the chiropractic care works, then great, you don't have to have surgery, mm -hmm. which is awesome, right? Absolutely. Or again, if the chiropractic doesn't really help, then you know, okay, then I need to go and check into maybe a surgical option. Mm -hmm. So it really helps really clarify the decision for you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching uh, to the end of the video. So that's all of the information that we have for you on carpal tunnel syndrome and the one biggest common misconception about it. Uh, so please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you can be notified every time we post a video and also give us a like. That would be awesome. If you have any comment, please leave it below. Share this video with everybody that you know, your friends, your family member, or if members, or if you know someone who is suffering from carpal tunnel, it's yes. going to be helpful in their decision making. Absolutely. I'm Dr. Josh. I'm Dr. Christina. See you later. Bye.